Hello there. <coughs> Welcome to Max Reg Embedding SDK tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do SAML authentication with Max Reg Embedding SDK. And the same method also works with Max Reg's REST API. Uh, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to use this, uh, the examples on the GitHub. So you can find examples on maxreg.github.io slash embedding SDK embedded embedding dash sdk dash samples uh, you can find this example in the github um, backstrategy.github.com all right uh, let's, so the example i want to show you is a sample authentication so this example if i open this let's open this so here let me uh, first i'm going to show you the demo first then i'm going to give you an overview of the code behind this uh, uh, page So the environment I'm going to use is tutorial.macrage.com. This is the environment I'm going to use. Uh, I have a different project ID and project.id IDs. I'm going to copy over. So first, uh, there's a one button called the auto login. So let's say if I, I think I have already have a session already. So if I have a session already, it will not ask me to log in again. So let's try. It doesn't ask me to log in again. It will automatically right, embed this dossier. So let's try. Uh, so this is this. And if I click login with SAML, it will see uh, it will see a pop-up, it will see a tab and opens a pop-up and, but it, since I already have a sample session, it will just close the pop-up. So let's try. Uh, open a new page, right? Quickly close it. Okay, so this is button is for OID since it's not an OID, so this is sample. So if you have an OID, say you can use this button, the only difference is possible. So let's try log out. So I'm going to log out. So this is my, um, Actually, library and tutorial environment. Right now, I'm already logged in, so I'm going to log out. Okay, so let's try again. So if I don't have a session, let's try again. I'm going to keep this page open. So I'm going to click this. Okay, so let's see if I. Okay, let's see if I click this. I think if I already have a page open, it doesn't replace this. If I do this, it doesn't replace this. It doesn't refresh. Uh, if it's working, it should refresh. Okay, so let's see login with SAML. If I open this, you'll see a new page open, right? Ask me to log in with SAML. So I'm going to use my MacRedg uh, account to log into SAML. So password, uh, okay, I have password saved here. Uh, text message. Okay. All right, verify. Okay. How we stay on? All right, so you see after this, the pop is closed and it go back to this page and show me the dossier, right? So this time if I click this button, you'll see this is refreshed because I, I am able to get an OS token, right? So let's look at the code behind. I'm going to open this in uh, Chrome Developer Tool. So let's open this source code. So this is a source code and I'm going to, okay. So the top part is just the UI for, to render the input box and we have a server ID, right? Server and some IDs. Um, this is a container. This part is a container for embedding the dossier. Uh, in, in the just code, uh, let's look at the dossier configuration. Uh, so, we have a few function to do the authentication. Let's look at the configuration for dossier. When we show the dossier, right, we call on create with uh, um, custom authentication type to be token, and we'll call this get auth token method, right? When this method is called, when we call get auth token method, 
uh, it will just uh, fetch OS token. Uh, it will call OS token API and fetch OS token. So um, before we call the embedding SDK in this example, we actually call the auto logging. Right? So this will make sure if you already have a session, um, auto, auto logging, if you already have a session, it will automatically render the dossier. If you don't, it will, uh, will not. So let's say it's auto logging, we'll check, auto logging will uh, try to get OS token calling this method, right? So this method does not do a logging, it just uh, fetch OS token. If you have it, it just return it. If it doesn't have it, it will do nothing. If you have a token, it will show dossier. So the button, we have a, a two buttons to show auto logging. So auto logging button, it just called auto logging. If you check whether you have a session, if you have, it just show dossier. Because this will trigger the dossier to refresh. If it doesn't have a token, it does nothing. Uh, the other button is the uh, logging with sample button. So submit, right? Logging with sample button is calling the logging. So what does logging do? Logging uh, will logging will call uh, will open. So it will open this window, right? Open this URL. This is logging dialog URL passing authentication mode and sample has a different authentication mode with OIDC. So just uh, make sure you specify the authentication mode correctly. And it will open a new tab. It will open a new tab. And uh, uh, let's see. So when the, mm, it also registers the listener, right? It will also register the message to listener. So it listen to message sending from the tab. So in the new tab, once you finish logging, it will receive, you will receive a message, right? Message listeners here, it will receive a message. And once we receive a message, we will just uh, show dossier close tab. So that is what this does. And the show dossier will automatically fetch the like token. Like show message, show dossier as the OS token method, it will fetch token from uh, library, right, from the server. So it will call a OS token call and fetch a token from the server. So you don't need to save the token in the local uh, storage or session storage. It will be fetched from server. That's how it does. Okay, all right. So I think this also works with some other authentication mode. Uh, so login dialog, if you have an other authentication mode like a trust, you can also specify the mode for the trust. So basically it's reusing the login dialog UI for a library. library. Mm. That's pretty much is uh, this example does. Uh, I'm okay. So um, thank you for watching. If you want to look for the more examples, you can go to uh, our uh, embedding SDK playground, go to start over and look for the examples there. Uh, and also feel free to try the playground. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.